Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to my channel everybody. Today I'm going to be sharing the best aloo tiki chaat with all of you guys. If many of you guys know what this is, you know what I'm talking about. You guys have to try this recipe. And for all of you guys that don't, these are yummy little potato cutlets usually served as Indian, Pakistani or Bangladeshi street foods or snack foods atopped with yogurt, tamarind, chutneys and all the good stuff. So let's get right into it. In a pan, drizzle some olive oil, add in one medium-sized red onion, fry that just for a minute, then go ahead and add in some peppers. Now we're talking red, green peppers, those are bell peppers, with a little bit of chili pepper, that is a green chili pepper. Then what we're going to do is we're going to add in some peas. Now we want to go ahead and just quickly fry this for about six to eight minutes, making sure that everything gets completely cooked. If you think that it's still hard and the peas aren't fully cooked yet, go ahead and add just a tablespoon or two of water. Once that's all nicely mixed up, what we're going to do is we're going to transfer that onto a plate and we're going to let it cool. Now, in the meantime, in another bowl, I've added in some boiled potatoes, and I went ahead and added that cool um, mixture that we went ahead and prepared into the potatoes. Now, I'll have all the ingredients down in the um, description box below for you guys, so don't forget to hit that button. And I've added in some cilantro, fresh green cilantro from the garden. I've also added in some amjud powder. Now, into that, I've added some coriander powder and some cumin powder. I've added in some salt. Now into that goes some corn flour or cornstarch. Now I've added two tablespoons of that and like I said I'll have all the ingredients down below for you guys. Now using your clean washed hands go ahead and mush everything up together really really nice. Now these cutlets, potato, aloo tikis are going to turn out so delicious guys that you're going to even forget about kebabs and all that. So um, onto a cutting board or a clean surface add a little bit of olive oil and then um, apply some to your hands and go ahead and prepare the cutlets. You can use like a cookie shaper or cookie cutter to prepare them or then you can just use your hands. Now once you oil your hands or grease them you'll get a better um, you'll get a better size or a portion. In another bowl what I've done is added some corn flour with or corn starch with some water and I've mixed that. Now what I'm going to do is dip the aloo tiki on both sides gently and then in another bowl I've added some planko bread crumbs you can use any breadcrumbs of your choice and what I've done is went ahead and dipped that into the breadcrumbs just like that and there you go guys prepare all your cutlets put them to a side or your aloo tikis and then go ahead and heat some oil in a frying pan you want to make sure that the oil is not too hot you want to make sure the oil is not too cold you want to test it first to make sure that it's at the perfect consistencies once all your aloo tikis are prepared and then what we'll do after that is we'll go ahead and start frying now one by one put them in make sure you do not crowd them and please don't be in a hurry to go ahead and turn these over once they completely turn colors then go ahead and switch them to the other side after that drain them onto a paper towel and there they are guys don't they look amazing these are going to taste so good in ramadan guys but you have to um, serve them immediately if you want that crunchy texture on them okay so now moving forward what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and um, move on to the chutney that we prepare to put on top so in a ninja or blender or whatever you'd like to use go ahead and add some cilantro some chili peppers some fresh mint leaves i'm going to add in some um some lemon juice and what i'm going to do is add in some yogurt now i'm going to blend this up together just for about 60 seconds and voila there's the yummy mint butna coriander chutney Put that to a side and in another bowl, go ahead and add in some sour cream. We're going to go ahead and add some Greek yogurt. Into that, we're going to add a little bit of milk and a pinch of salt. And please use salt according to your diet. Now, once you're adding in your milk, you want to watch out. You don't want to get it all over the place like me. And go ahead and just mix everything up together. We don't want the sour cream or the yogurt, the Greek yogurt, to be really thick. We want to just thin it out a little. So we want it to make it a perfect consistency, not too thin. We want to just make it perfect. So just go ahead and mix everything up together. Put it to a side. I'm also going to be using some tamarind chutney. And that chutney I have in my other recipe. So check that out if you guys want the recipe for 
for that tamarind chutney. So now, guys, is the fun part. Lay down your aloo dickies. Go ahead and put that yummy, yummy, creamy yogurt and cream sauce that we've prepared onto that. Add this tamarind chutney that is so yummy for that yet for with that real nice sugary effect. And then go ahead and atop with your mint chutney, mint and coriander chutney. Oh my goodness, my mouth's watering, guys. Doesn't it look good? Go ahead and sprinkle with some yummy fresh um, cilantro or coriander. And I have some of this aloo bujia that I'm going to go ahead and put right on top of that to give it that real nice crunchy effect. Now you can serve these aloo tikis just on its own or with another side like rice. And um, I'll show you guys that in a bit. In the meantime, sprinkle some chaat masala right on top of that. Or you can even sprinkle with some garam masala. And that's about it guys. I've added a little bit of the creamy stuff on the side just for that extra stuff if you guys know what I mean. <laughs> and I've added some lemon slices on the side to squeeze right on top of that when I'm going to eat it. And oh my goodness, you guys have to try this recipe guys to believe how good this is. Please try them with your friends and family for Ramadan. I'm sure you guys will really get a kick out of it. Really, really easy to prepare. Tastes really good as an appetizer, a snack, or like I said, on the sides of all um, kinds of rices or anything you'd like to prepare with it. I've prepared some garbanzo rice pilau right here on the side with a little salad and my alu tiki chaat and guys everyone has their own way of making this but I think this is the best alu tiki chaat ever so do give it a try if you've enjoyed this please give me a thumbs up because that'll really help me out don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more amazing recipes like this daily and follow me on Instagram at Naz's Kitchen Fun and thanks for watching. Until next time, Khuda Afiz and Ramadan Kareem to all of you guys.